Hello everyone, it's Benice here, your Community Outreach Specialist, and today I'm out at the Coalition for the Homeless of Pasco County, and I'm just going to meet with Don Anderson, who is the Chief Executive Officer, and he's going to give us a lot of information um, about the Coalition and how we can help and any resources that they may have. Um, it's just going to be a really good informative video, so sit down, grab a cup of coffee or tea if you're like me, and get ready to learn some ways that you can help. Hey everyone, okay, so I am with Don Anderson, who is the Chief Executive Officer for the Coalition for the Homeless of Pasco County. So today, it's gonna to be a lot of information thrown at you guys, but it's going to be very beneficial because like I always tell you, knowledge is power. So we are going to talk about everything that this coalition does for our county and different resources and how we can help. So, Wonderful. ooh. All right, Welcome Benny. to the viewers. Say hello. Hello, Dan. everyone. <laughs> all right, so first of all, start off, tell us, what is the coalition? for the homeless? Um, we're a uh, 501c3 not-for-profit entity mm -hmm. and uh, we act as a collaborative partner for HUD uh, and uh, as well as we manage the HMIS system, Homeless Management Information System, okay. that we use to track those that are at risk of homelessness and those that are homeless. And uh, we're also responsible for what's referred to as the continuum of care. We have 50 to 80 organizations across the county that somehow are able to impact and influence those that are at risk of homelessness or those that are homeless. So those are the primary functions that okay. we serve as an entity here in Pasco County. Quite a lot. You guys have quite a lot on your plate. It's kind of like an umbrella effect, basically. Yes. Or like a, okay, okay. Yes, sort of overarching all of the organizations that are out there supporting and removing barriers for individuals and families to get into housing. I love that, I love that. So, so we, you... we have probably, uh, I shouldn't say probably, our most recent estimate for homelessness in the county was about 2,600 uh, individuals. Uh, but of course, one of the biggest obstacles we face here in Pasco County is that uh, there's a, a classification of uh, income and uh, families uh, asset limited income constrained okay. employed and over 50 percent of our families here in Pasco County fall into that classification where hmm. it only takes a, a medical bill a car to break down missing a few days of work where they're at risk of becoming homeless as well for the lack of affordable housing that we have here in Pasco County so uh, a lot of challenges we don't have the shelter system that we really need here a low mm -hmm. barrier single shelter but we're working to address that okay. uh, we recently uh, in conjunction with the Florida Housing Coalition developed our plan to address homelessness in the county okay. and uh, the board we're looking for board approval for that next week and uh, in doing so we'll be publishing it sharing it throughout the county and uh, the community to uh, demonstrate what our plans are and how we can engage those individuals, organizations, entities that can assist us in eradicating homelessness in the county. Which I absolutely love, I really do. So that's on your part. How could any of our local followers, uh, viewers help out if they wanted to? Are they able well, to do so? Obviously, finances are vital. Yes, um, donations. So there's, there's, no mm -hmm. better, uh, there's no better substitute for cash. Mm -hmm. However, uh, we're in need of volunteers for our point in time count. As the HUD collaborative partner, we're required to do a point in time count of all of the homeless, uh, either sheltered or unsheltered wow. in the county. And we're working on plans right now to do that Tuesday, January 22nd. Okay. And we are seeking uh, nearly 400 volunteers across the county to work three four-hour shifts mm -hmm. uh, that will break down into zones throughout the county so that we can identify uh, all those individuals that are mm -hmm. homeless and this is absolutely the single most important thing we'll do as an activity because it's the single best means to bring money into the county okay. to address the homeless situation um, so it's vital that we get an accurate count and one that uh, methodologically is uh, secure um, and can provide confidence 
to our funders, in particular HUD and, and the Department of Children and Families, that we can demonstrate uh, the exact number of individuals and families that are homeless in our county. So we're looking for volunteers. There's actually, um, you can go to our website. Okay, I was gonna say. I'll put that Click in the description below. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And fill out an application. We'll be doing online training with our partner okay. from St. Leo, St. Leo's University. Okay. And uh, and then we'll be making assignments geographically as well as the three shifts, uh, the three, four hour shifts. So um, nothing more important on our calendar mm -hmm. right now than the point in time count for January 22nd. I love that. So I will make sure that you guys have all of that information below. Is there an age requirement? Probably just like yeah, 18. Yeah. yeah just. It, I think 18, for something, but yes, yeah. although okay. an individual could bring um, a teenager interested in, Someone in the working process with, what we're doing or, with an adult, okay. but yes, it's uh, okay. uh, essential that, uh, that they be uh, 18 and over. Okay, that's awesome. All right. What else do you, is there, in this, we're, we're well, one of the things we do right here um, at our, uh, this is uh, Pine Street, our Pine Street location, Pine Street. is uh, we have uh, courtesy of uh, our public defender, Bob Dillinger. We actually have portable showers here. I saw a sign for that. Yes. I saw, what, what's the process like for that? Well, individuals uh, can come to our location here. Um, we generally provide services from nine to four. Okay. And uh, if someone is in need of a shower, and, and we have probably, we're averaging probably more than 350 individuals a month. Coming in, we provide them with a fresh, clean towel, uh, personal toiletries, mm -hmm. uh, clean clothes if they need them, and if it's a, a, an emergency situation from a food perspective, we'll also provide them several meals. So that. those are the things that we're doing here. Um, we also do case management, uh, and in addition to that, um, working with our 50 to 80 COC members, mm -hmm. continuum of care members, we offer permanent supportive housing funding, uh, rapid rehousing, where we can provide first month, last month security okay. deposit, as well as utility deposits, That's awesome. and then provide case management to track and follow these individuals and, and families to make sure that they're successful. Mm -hmm. And um, support is key. Support is key. Just to help absolutely. keep someone on yes. track. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very much so. Um, so when it comes to you guys providing the the towels and the toiletries and everything, do you guys take donations for we things? We do. Okay, because I'm thinking like yes. that's what I have a surplus of towels, yes. you know, and we need clean and everything, of course. It, yes, but yeah. towels, uh, we wash them. There's no problem. We'll take any amount of towels. That okay. We bring in. Okay. Um, and we also take clothes donations. Some of the things okay. in particular that we find challenging would be undergarments for both men and women. Okay. Um, socks so were set. I was thinking, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. we're all we got set socks. there. Okay. Yeah, we got socks covered thanks to uh, local schools as well That's as awesome. uh, another benefactor. And, um, but yes, 5652 uh, on Pine Street. Mm -hmm. We're just off of uh, uh, Grand Boulevard mm -hmm. via Aspen Street mm -hmm. to, uh, to Pine Street. So they can drop off donations yes. or, okay, okay. Yeah, nine to, nine to four would be the best Someone's time to here. drop off donations. Seven days a week? Yes, five, five days. days a week. Five days, okay. Yes. That's mm -hmm. awesome. Is there anything else that you feel like the viewers need to well, know? Well, I'm reminded by how brisk it is today that <laughs> we also provide a cold weather shelter. Oh. So when temperatures go uh, below a, a, mm -hmm. a certain uh, grade, uh, we actually work with our continuum of care partners to provide uh, hotel stays uh, for individuals and families that need incredible. to get off the street. Uh, I don't know that it's cold enough today, but it's getting yeah, close it's getting there. to be cold mm -hmm. enough that uh, we'll be doing that. And that's in a, because I know we've posted in the past where uh, there will be like emergency shelters that are open in the county for yes. certain cold weathers, and that's in addition yes. to that that's, as well. That's right. Okay, that's, that's awesome. Right. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Yes. So keep it in mind, guys. So I, you guys, donation of blankets? Too? Um, maybe. I'm yes, just trying to keep we'll accept, everybody warm. Yeah, and just... we'll accept blankets. Obviously, uh, sweatshirts, coats, outer garments. More so, yes. Yeah, absolutely are, are more practical than the blankets. Um, but that's a great start, mm -hmm. and we appreciate anything anyone yes. can bring to us, and uh, you can be assured that uh, it goes to a good use. You guys are doing an incredible work. Incredible work. Well, we've got, a, Long we've got our go. challenges. Mm -hmm. um, Everything but that matters does. We're, we're enjoying the support of the county, Sheriff Naco, uh, the Board of County Commissioners. Mm -hmm. uh, we've just been uh, blessed recently with uh, 
a great deal of support. Uh, and it's not always financial uh, or donations, but uh, you know, we appreciate individuals coming out and, uh, and uh, showing their support. Mm -hmm in any way they can. But thank you for taking the time to talk to us and giving oh, us all the information. Thank you. And guys, like I said, guys and girls, we're inclusive. All of the information will be below. I'll make sure that you have it to, and any questions that you may have, whether or not it's for Don, myself, or how you can help, ask them and I'll do the best that I can to get you an answer as soon as possible. But let's make sure we focus on that January 22nd yes. point in time count. Yes. It is absolutely vital mm -hmm. that we have a sufficient number of volunteers to canvas the entire but county. Think and about it. You're just walking around counting. Yes. It's, and it's we'll be working with the sheriff when we go mm -hmm. into the camps. Um, we'll be canvassing all the areas uh, where we know that individuals mm -hmm. uh, take respite, mm -hmm. whether it be the libraries, um, any number of places mm -hmm. but please uh, consider volunteering we'll do the training uh, it's a great opportunity to make a difference and to understand the plight of the mm -hmm. homeless and it, it really puts a face on homelessness mm -hmm. as well I can go ahead and say that I will be putting in my application this afternoon everyone wonderful you know I love to help thank you so, so yeah. much of course right. of course okay everyone so that wraps up today's informational video informative video on the home coalition for the homeless of Pasco County. So any little thing that you can do to help, you know I would love to see that. So if you haven't already, subscribe, like this video if you thought that, you know, if you if you connected in any way, shape, or form, or like this video if you just wanna like this video. But I'll see you next time guys. Have a great day.